I'm Dr. Jim Chan, naturopathic physician. Well, the initial is really ND, not MD. Anyways, uh, some people call me Jimmy. Uh, it's interesting how I get into naturopathic medicine. In fact, my father, grandfather, and great-grandfather, they were all practitioners of medicine, but of traditional Chinese medicine. Uh, of course, they all practice, you know, my grandfather, great-grandfather, they both practice in China. And my father practiced in Hong Kong. And uh, as a teenager, my father actually uh, had trained me in uh, various aspects of traditional Chinese me medicine and herbal medicine. Uh, and uh, by the time I was uh, 19 years old, uh, he already put me through uh, a training program in traditional Chinese medicine. Except uh, back then, of course, I didn't like the idea of traditional Chinese medicine, the fact that they only talk about yin and yang, and I thought it was kind of uh, some sort of a superstition. So instead, I ran away from home, and I ended up in uh, Canada, and I ended up in Medicine Hat, Alberta, uh, a, a small town in the middle of uh, Canada, and I found a program that I could afford uh, in a hospital, in Medicine Hat General Hospital, and after having gone through a uh, one-year training program in the uh, Institute of Technology called SAIT in uh, Calgary, uh, I ended up going back to Medicine Head General Hospital and had my practical training there. And it was then that I had a lot of opportunity to be opposed to, to be uh, exposed to a lot of uh, conventional medical uh, uh, procedures and testings and things like that. And at that point, a uh, pathologist uh, who was on staff was really uh, keen on uh, getting me to go down to the morgue to help him. So I ended up doing a lot of autopsies back then, and that was a lot of fun. Um, so, in fact, I was all gung-ho to say, hey, I'm, you know, uh, you know, instead of doing anything that's uh, traditional medicine, which I didn't think had any validity, uh, I was all uh, enthusiastic uh, into going into conventional medicine. And in fact, uh, being a medical technology did not satisfy my uh, desire for uh, knowing what's going on, so I ended up uh, enrolling in a program in biochemistry in Simon Fraser University in Vancouver. And at the same time, I worked part-time in a hospital, uh, in Peace Arch Hospital. Uh, and uh, interestingly enough, nobody else wanted to work the odd shift, so I ended up working literally being on call 24 hours a day for four days a week. And I had to get up first thing in the morning, every morning, to draw blood from these wonderful patients. And an internist, Dr. Greiner, decided that uh, I was maybe a little smar smarter than some of the other technologists and decided to take me around on ward rounds. And actually, it was, you know, a good almost seven years. He took me around on ward rounds every morning and showed me how to read everything from electrocardiogram, interpret lab results and things like that. And it's interesting that uh, back then I was all ready to go to medical school. Um, and also interesting was that I um, got interested in um, doing research with my professor, professor uh, in biochemistry in Simon Fraser. And uh, before I graduated, uh, I was involved in a research project to figure out the ping-pong mechanism of s adenosyl methionine methyltransferase, a mouthful. But it's very interesting work, and that was when I learned more about molecular biology and biochemistry and enzyme kinetics and all the ins and outs of things. And uh, I uh, came across something that was quite interesting that I thought maybe I wanted to look into it. And I got a President's grant uh, to do research in uh, ginseng. And I read a paper from Russia that was translated uh, into English that ginseng was somewhat useful in treating diabetes. So uh, I said, well, uh, why don't I do something? So uh, with my Chinese medicine background, maybe it's useful to look into it. Maybe I can maybe disprove it. So turned out that I got this research grant and uh, I constructed a bilayer lipid membrane and I extracted fractions of so-called ginsengocyte from ginseng and look at its effect on the, trans on the transport of glucose across the bilayer uh, lipid membrane that was artificially constructed. And my goodness, I found uh, positive results. And it got me really interested into maybe looking into other herbs. 
however, at that point, uh, I was ready to either go on to a PhD program because uh, my professor managed to put my name on this paper that was published and uh, also uh, perhaps uh, to go into medical school.